Begin recently just came out with a new feature called a VOD track. Last year, Twitch came out with a feature that allows you to stream one channel of audio to your stream and another that would be saved for your VODs and your clips. While this is a really good feature, not a lot of companies that do this kind of aggregate device mixing like we do have been able to take advantage of that feature. However, we came up with a really cool and intuitive way that you can take advantage of the Twitch VOD track feature without adding a ton of complexity and manual audio management on your part. You'll notice now in the mixing tab in the Beacon app, we've added a fourth row called VOD track on your routing table. By default, we should have everything selected except for the music channel. In most cases, this is the setup that people are going to use. However, the cool thing about our VOD track feature is that you can actually choose to include or not include any of your channels, not just the music channel. For example, let's say I have my alerts coming through my browser source and I don't want my alerts to be on my clips or VODs. I can uncheck my browser source here and now my VOD track won't be playing my alert volume either. We're going to keep it kind of simple for now and just leave music unchecked. So from the Beacon side of things, what we're saying is, hey Beacon, send all of my audio to my audience mix, my live stream track for OBS, but don't send my music to my VOD track. That is the channel that is used for my VODs and my clips. So next we're gonna go into OBS and set this up. I am recording in OBS right now, so some of these settings might be grayed out and I won't be able to select them, but you can just copy my settings. Now remember earlier how I had the music track unchecked for VOD track? I've set it up in OBS so I can demonstrate this for you a little bit. On the left-hand side, I have my audience mixer and I have my audience mix and my Twitch VOD track separated for you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on some music and you'll notice that it's playing for my audience mix but not my Twitch VOD. <laughs> so there, we verified it's working. Now let's make sure that we've set up OBS correctly so that all of these settings are going to the right places. I'm gonna hop into File, Settings, and Output. The first thing you're going to wanna do is make sure that Twitch VOD track is checked. It looks gray on my screen, but it'll be black for yours as long as you aren't actively recording or streaming when you're doing this. I set my audio track to one and my Twitch VOD track to two. The next thing we wanna do is add our audio sources. And this is where your setup might differ because everybody sets up their streams differently. But in most cases, this is how you're going to set it up. Hop into the audio tab and under your mic auxiliary audio, make the first one audience mix and mic auxiliary audio to make VOD track. This is going to add a global audio device to every single one of your scenes that has audience mix and VOD track. We'll need that for the next step. Now that I've done that, I just need to make sure that I'm sending my audience mix and my VOD track to the right places. So to do that, I go to my audio mixer on the right hand side, click on the cog wheel and go down to advanced audio properties. On the far right hand side, I have tracks. And as you can see, I've already selected audience mix track one, Twitch VOD track two. This will line up with the settings I just set up in OBS. And now my VODs and clips will be taking from the Twitch VOD channel while my live stream we'll be having the full audience mix. There are a lot of other cool ways you can take advantage of the Twitch VOD track, but this is by far the most popular configuration that we're going to see. We hope you found this helpful, but if for any reason you're having issues with this setup, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Hop into our Discord at beacon.gg discord, or go over to our website, beacon.com, and open up a ticket, and we'd be happy to get you squared away. See you next time.